Welcome back to another log, everyone. Today I'm gonna randomly talk about Star Wars because there is a lot of interesting mythology in Star Wars, and I think that this sh it's misrepresented. So let me explain. So first of all, I don't consider myself to be a hardcore Star Wars fan, but I'm probably more hardcore than most of the people watching this. Like, it, like on my YouTube channel, like the suggested videos, it's like Star Wars theory and stuff. And I'll, I'll check it here and then. I read the books, so on and so forth. But growing up, I was introduced to Star Wars in the traditional episodes four, five, and six that most of you watching this have probably watched. And then as I got older, you know, one, two, and three came out, and then finally seven, eight, and nine. And only in the past, like, and I played some of the video games. Uh, I was interested in, like, uh, I think it was like Jedi Academy, and I play. Uh, Battlefront, a couple different things. But for the most part, I wasn't that hardcore until uh, I started reading the books, which was suggested to me by my good friend Eddie, who is like, you know, there's so much more stories inside the book. So long story short about, I think I've been doing so much running that uh, I, 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 when I run, I listen to like podcasts technical material, and then I sometimes reward myself with just like Star Wars books or like fantasy novels or so on and so forth. And I, I, I read the Thrawn series, my favorite character in Star Wars. I actually got a little toy of him here that my family makes fun of me for. I uh, also have a R2-D2 cup on my table, so I'm a little bit of a fan. But anyways, read the Thrawn series, um, probably the best, one of the best characters in the entire, in entire series. And, and what you need to understand is what happens. So like, you have Star Wars, you have episodes four, five, and six that became famous. Then you got the movies. Most people think the movies when they think Star Wars. But what actually happened is there's this whole canon, this whole historical narrative. And, and what's the cool thing about it is when they first released it, there, there was a certain level of uh, – they made sure everything stuck to a framework. So there's time – like time is the sort of binding thing. but there's all these events that happen on a timeline and, and they are, they're interconnected and it's pretty cool. So it's like, and, and one of the things that's been happening is I'm reading these, it sounds, it sounds so stupid, but like as I'm reading these Star Wars novels, it's like, it's so cool to see the different perspectives in the Star Wars universe. So for example, when you are, when you grow up and you watch Star Wars, you're convinced, like every kid wants to be a Jedi, right? There's, there's very rarely the kid that wants to be a Sith. It's like the Jedi are good, the Sith are bad, right? And the Empire is bad and the Resistance is good. And even like the way that they show the people in the Empire and um, the way they paint the Sith and so on and so forth. And what's really fascinating is I feel like it's a very good example or polarization of like how we view, like almost like political parties and how we view people in life. But the reality is when you actually read the books and you go deeper down the rabbit hole, you learn that things are not so black and white, that the Jedi have a approaches to things that seem quite stupid and they're quite dogmatic in their ways. And in some ways, the things that they do are, um, pretty bad, essentially, in my opinion. And then the Sith are not all evil. And you learn the history of the Sith. And then you learn that there's people, sort of like the Grey Jedis, or the people that sit in between those two and use the Force for, um, use the dark side and the good side of the Force for their own different merits. And, like, it's fascinating, because, like, I always thought that the Empire is evil. And then you start reading these books, and you're like, these people are just living their lives and have a job. And from their perspective, these damn rebels don't know what they, they got a good in the galaxy. Like, what are you doing? We have a good structure here. We got a good framework here. Stop trying to rock the ship. Just go away, you pesky rebels. And it, it's just, it, I know it sounds like, it's, I, I sound silly even talking about this in relation to it, but there's just some crazy big picture themes in Star Wars that are not in any way, shape, or form captured in the in the movies it's just it's just not it's like they, it, it it's a surface level of the philosophy so i strongly recommend the thrawn uh series i also strongly recommend um the darth bane series and i'm going deeper into it, it i i love world building uh i'm obsessed with these like books that are like yeah you know, four thousand pages long and 
it's building into something and you get to understand the depth of what the character has to experience. It's just really, really, really fascinating. So anyways, that's where I'm going in this completely random thing. Um, uh, Star Wars does have a lot of correlates to life and I think they're quite enjoyable. So yeah, anyways, please post below if you any of you are hardcore Star Wars fans or maybe maybe not a fan of that franchise or, or series, but something else that you could sort of bring to and interject in your life. I just, I don't know, I wanted to make a different video today. And yeah, uh, what's my random ending? What's on my desk today? Um, oh, I've tried these mechanical keyboards. I don't know if you all know about this, but Google mechanical keyboards, and it's like this whole culture. So you hear that sound? It's like that clicking sound. It's like people that love to use these. And I bought two to see what's going on. I like them, but I'm so used to this keyboard that like I need like a mechanical version of the Apple keyboard. It's taking a little bit of time to integrate. But yeah, if any of you are big mechanical keyboard fans, let me know. That's about it. And remember, may the force be with you. <laughs>